How many of you remember the story of Joshua and Caleb going in to spy out the land with the other ten? Twelve spies. We always hear a lot about Joshua and how great he was. Not much is said about Caleb. We're talking about him next. So we pick up the story in Numbers chapter 13, and in verse 1 it begins and says that the Lord spoke to Moses and said, send 12 spies into Canaan's land, into the promised land, and spy out the land. Before you go in there, make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. So Moses picks 12. One of them is Joshua, we know. The other is Caleb. Caleb happens to be one of the leaders in the tribe of Judah. So anyways, the story goes, they go into the land, they go to spy out the land, and they're kind of traumatized by what they see, except for Joshua and Caleb. So now they come back, and they give a report, not only to Moses, but to all the children of Israel. And the Bible says they give an evil report. They say, hey, we can't do this. There's giants in the land, and we are like grasshoppers to them. But what's interesting is that Caleb immediately jumps up and he quiets the people. He says, sit down. He says, we're well able to take the land. Let's go in and do it at once. That's a spirit of faith. Imagine having that kind of a guy on your side, a guy like Caleb, who's just saying, hey, I'm ready to go. I don't care what it looks like. You see, the ten spies that brought back an evil report, the Bible says, that they were comparing themselves to the giants. So they said, we're like grasshoppers to them. Caleb compared his God to the giants and said this, we are well able to go in and take the land. You see, whenever you're facing a situation, don't compare yourself to that situation. Compare that situation to who God is. God is greater and bigger than any situation there is in this world. I don't care if you got a death sentence. I don't care if doctors said you're in stage four cancer. I don't care if the, if the bank's coming to take you at your house. You declare God is on your side. And if he says you're well able to take the land, then you go in at once. Now here's what's great about Caleb. The word Caleb means dog. That's it, just dog in Hebrew. When you think about a dog, a dog is a very devoted animal to its master. And one of the things that God says after he's done in Numbers chapter 14, he gets very angry with the Israelites, especially the ten spies that said that they couldn't do it, that they couldn't go in. And they use their kids as an excuse. And God says this, he says that they will die before they ever enter into the promised land. And then he says this. God says, hey, I want to hear, I want to talk to that guy named Caleb. I like him. He's got a different spirit than everybody else. He said, he's got a, now I'm just saying this, but he's got a spirit of faith. I like that attitude. I like that dog-like attitude that is fully committed to God's word. And it says, God said, he had a different spirit because he was fully committed to the word of God. Hey, that's how we need to be, just like Caleb. And, and it's interesting is that nothing is said about Joshua in there. It's only about Caleb. Because he stood up and said, if God says we can overcome, let's go in. If God be for me, who can be against me? I don't care if there's giants in the land. I don't care if the government is coming against me. I don't care who it is. If God be for me, who can stand against me? And that was Caleb's attitude. God singled him out. Stay tuned for more about Caleb. Hi, my name is Artie Kasimis. Thank you for watching the last video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, hit the like button, share it with your friends, 
and by all means subscribe to our channel. We have many more videos coming out. They're going to be short, sweet, to the point, just the way I like them. They're not going to be long sermons, but they're going to be full of the Word of God. Also, we ask that you consider becoming a monthly partner. Go to our website, www.wordalive.us, and go to the Give tab. And please remember this, Jesus is Lord, and He's coming back real soon. God bless you.